we're here at the High Door booth with Brian, and uh, you guys have some new protein skimmers. Um, can you talk to us about that and what you guys got going on? Sure, absolutely. So the new protein skimmers uh, are going to be name brand the ESK protein skimmers, and uh, it's a pipeless protein skimmer design, and it uses all of our CELTS D DC drive uh, pumps. So these are going to be a DC controlled uh, protein skimmer. So we have three models to do uh, to choose from in the uh, in the line. The smallest is uh, rated for a 150 gallon aquarium. Uh, 250 on the midsize and up to 400 on our largest model. So as a pipeless protein skimmer, you can see that there's nothing additional hanging off the skimmer. It's a real nice tight footprint uh, to operate the uh, the height of the water inside the chamber. There's a gate valve on the bottom that's operated right here at the stum latch. And then on the uh, collection cup, we're doing a couple of nice things. Uh, first and foremost, it's pre-drilled to a valve, so you can always just hit the valve to uh, drain instead of always dumping the cup. But of course, when you do want to dump the cup, O-ring sealed, and the center chamber does come off so you can get in here and clean this very, very easily. Now, does, does this whole thing come off or just the, okay, so you got the whole cup like, like usual, but you can also take that out. Correct. So you'll notice also the uh, Venturi Inlet is not uh, hanging off like a lot of the other protein skimmers. Venturi Inlet is on the bottom of the neck, so it also acts as a sil silencer. So we're not hearing any of that air sucking sound that's traditionally associated with protein skimmers. Uh, the DC drive gives you a few uh, advantages as well. You can certainly control the flow up or down dependent on your needs. Uh, second to that, there's low water sensor inside the pump, so if it ever runs dry for any reason, the pump will shut off. Uh, there is a utility mode, so if you wanted to do water change, uh, feed the fish, whatever it might be, it has a five minute timer. If you just walk away after five minutes, it'll cut back on, or if you need it less, hit the pause button again. And then the, uh, the other uh, feature that it has is memory. So then in a, at a power interruption, if um, if you've got the power interruption, two things are going to happen. Number one, it's going to remember the setting that it was on last, so it doesn't have a default to something that doesn't make sense for you. And then it also has a five minute delay on startup. So it lets all that water get back into the system uh, before the protein skimmer cuts on. So you're not going to over skim or have a, a flood issue with a protein skimmer. That's very cool, because once you dial it in and you have it all set and then power goes out, you want it to be able to come back on and work right where you're at it. You're absolutely right, and that's one of the reasons that we did the delay. It uh, just is going to alleviate that problem, make, make it a non-issue for you. Awesome. Well, they look great, um, and when are these going to be available? You said they, they're not ready just they're yet. Not currently in market. Uh, we're in production currently. This should be available in the States in October. Uh, look for retail price points at uh, $350, uh, $450, and $650 as the uh, retail maps. Very cool. Um, always something exciting here at the High Door booth. And now for um, any of you guys that are into the freshwater tanks, you guys also have a freshwater light that you guys are working on. Yeah, absolutely. So this is part of our Akamai brand. And in the Akamai brand, we've had the uh, the KPS and the KPM. And we did a video at Reef of Palooza maybe two years ago, I think. Yeah, two years ago. KPS. And... Um, with the light series now, we have uh, have the 50-watt fixtures as well as the 100-watt fixtures for the reef side, and then we've gotten now into the freshwater. Uh, all the controllability is done still app-based uh, through your uh, Android or your Apple device. They all send out their own unique Wi-Fi signal. It's a standalone, so you don't hook it up through a home router or anything like that. It is Wi-Fi, not Bluetooth, so you do have expanded range, uh, and it's just a better connection between the two devices. Uh, and then the freshwater is... Uh, Really what we've done is we've designed the clusters to more tailor plant growth. So we've got a lot of warm whites and cool whites in there, uh, amped up the reds to, uh, to get that plant growth going on. So this is available in uh, actually four models. So you have the 100 watt fixture, which is a dual puck uh, uh, design. It's going to be eight color, six channel of controllability through the app, available in black and then a white platinum combination. And then we do have the 50 watt versions as well, which is a single puck design. Very cool. So there you have it guys, high door with the fresh water light and the DC protein skimmer. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you.